All right, so that. Okay, so for those of you who don't know much about the randomizer, it is a hack made by, and then we're off. It's a hack made by Duck Fist. And uh, the randomizer uh, scene altogether has been pretty popular lately. So this is just one of many projects. Um, so there'll be random tiles, random stage, random enemies, random boss attributes, random weapons. So this should be really fun. So they actually both started with the same stage, which is pretty crazy considering that they had one out of eight chances to do that. If they agree to the same stage, I'm not sure. So we got some gorillas and some fan guys, some shooters. Nothing too difficult to deal with at the moment. The cool thing is the soundtrack also includes songs from other games. So that's interesting. The Met, Met causing a bit of trouble, some damage. So normally you can easily jump those blocks, but the fan guys just pushes you right down, so. They're both going through this fairly easily. This challenge wasn't that complicated for either player. Squidman's got about a dog, boss corridor length, nothing much more. And we got a random heat man boss to start with. Looks like he's just flying fast across the screen, so this will be an interesting fight. Normally you rely on, on, on a footing to fight him, but he's just flying right above you. Oh, Squidman takes a death, unfortunately. And Kumba as well, so both players struggling for the same reason, so right off the bat you can see you can see what happens in a randomizer. You gotta quickly learn a strat. You're gonna go at it a second time. So the buster seems to be doing two damage per shot on the boss. So Heatman charges at your location, but because his sprite is above you, he's actually charging above you. So they really got to manage their positioning. They both finish virtually at the same time. Squidman is maybe one second ahead, not even. Squidman taking the wood option while quick for Kumba or sorry they pick a stage but it could be any stage it happens to be with theme for squid and quick for Kumba so some big mech droids uh, right and sniper Joes for uh, basically a purple hell replica and Kumba is quite the interesting one here he's on quick man stage with beams but they're actually sped up um, so we could actually see him maybe back out of this stage until he can get a, some kind of flash stopper skill. Meanwhile, Squidman clearing some, uh, some, uh, dogs, no problem. Yeah, this is a rough one to start with, and he takes the game over, and he's probably going to switch stages, I assume. And he does. He's going to take the wood man tile, which happens to be metal man. You know, there's crabs and crabs and shrimps or whatever those are. Instead of gorillas and birds. So there's some falling traps here in the metal man stage for Kumba. I like the original, but he can actually kill them. Some spaghetti enemies, nothing too difficult to deal with. He took about half damage though, so that could get uh, that could get dicey. Yeah, he's pretty low now. Meanwhile, Squid just cruising through the Woodman stage with a good health for the boss. And it happens to be Crashman boss. We'll see what kind of physics. 
Seems to be walking a little slower and jumping higher. So you should be... Uh, he does quite a bit of damage though, so you, you still have to be careful. But this should be uh, an easy fight for Squid. There's lots of time to avoid him. Kumba down to 4 HP, he's got to be careful here. He can't even kill these, uh, these crabs with the buster, so he's going to have to de-boost through them. Gonna opt to drop down for D tank, a wise choice. He's gonna use an interesting pause buffer here to make a leap that is otherwise not possible. So when you pause and unpause in Mega Man 2, it resets your falling velocity and you can make a short, a couple inches move forward. So by abusing it a several times, you can reach places that are otherwise not possible with a normal jump. So Squid just picked the Quick Man stage in his turn, and he's going to get the, ma the the same surprise that Kumba has. So the the advantage that he had built from Kumba picking that stage first sort of just got annihilated. This Metal Man fight seems pretty normal. His his blades are quite sped up, but the mechanics of the boss are the same. So Kumba clears that no problem. And he gets the Zoda Cannon. I wonder if that's a reference to Zoda Noir. That's quite interesting. And Kuma just finishing the Metal Man stage with Squid Man is entering. I grab the safety tank. That's you never know what you're facing in randomizer, so we'll have to see. So this stage seems to give you item three as well, so they'll have some extra movement items they can use. Okay, we got the Bubble Man theme stage now for Kumba. Some platform enemies and some more shrimp. I gotta learn the real names of these enemies. Some orange water. Ooh, and we got some f upwards flying gorillas. That's an interesting theme. That's quite the random. It's almost impossible to dodge that, but he gets through. And he's going to abuse the pause glitch here to try to get into a wall to do a, a bubble zip, so he'll clear the entire spike area underwater. He's trying to, oh no, he missed it. He actually fell out of the wall, so not sure what happened there. He might have not did the correct trigger input there, so. He had a certain amount of frames that he could input it correctly. He must have just missed it and fell out of the wall. So he's going to have to do the, the normal trek here. Does get a full health though. A large health pickup, pardon me. Squidman here is on the metal fight. Okay, the heat man weapon doesn't do anything. The air weapon is quite uh, damageful. So. In randomizer, you also have random weaknesses. So the fact that Squidman now knows that the air weapon is weak for metal men is going to really help him in the refight. So the more of those that you can figure out along the race, the better. Using the wood shield for the last section of bubble, no problem. And we'll see what boss Kumba faces here. Meanwhile, Squidman acquires item three as well. And he goes into bubble. They seem to have a, they must have a fixed pattern that they like to follow. Maybe they're going from top to bottom, I'm not sure. Okay, so the wood leaf was not Woodman's weakness, so looks like Kumba's just gonna opt to use the buster. If you stand close enough to Woodman, you can actually get your arm with the buster inside the shield and do damage on him where he would normally be uh, invulnerable, allowing you to kill him much quicker. Okay, so that's the stage cleared for Kumba. We'll see if Squidman gets the zip here that Kumba missed. That could help him catch up a little bit. So Squidman pausing a little too fast here, so if you 
There's a, about a half a second where when you fall, Mega Man is lighter and then he starts falling quicker and quicker. So if you pause every half second or so, you can actually gain a little bit more ground quicker. But the method he's doing is very safe. And he gets plenty of distance to do it. And he misses it as well. So both players have missed the bubble zip, unfortunately. And we got some sped up music for Kumba. We got some enemies you would normally see in Bubble Man with the spikes. Some enemy block enemies that separate when you shoot them. And here we go to the the area with the platform. It looks like the item ones also don't flow upwards in this in this particular rando. So players are gonna have to be aware of that, especially like a wily one with the dragon where you normally expect them to go up a little bit. Squidman's gonna get to the bubble man fight soon. Meanwhile, some Sniper Joes for Kumba just skips right over them. So yes, this Crash Clown can be very, uh, very troublesome because you don't know what's being thrown at you and you have very limited movement because you're practically always on the ladder. Kumba fell there, lost a little bit of time where he's going to use item 3 to climb back quick, so good, good stride on his part. Got a fan guy here with a step. Looks like Squidman's going with the Buster as well. Should be able to finish that in a second. And he does. Looks like nothing's in Kumba's way, so he's gonna do the item three climb. So in Mega Man 2, if you use the right amount of inputs or the right combination of inputs, you can drop an item 3 just as Mega Man is able to drop on it. So you let go ladder, fall on the item 3 and you're able to jump up and gain some extra height. So players will use that to climb much quicker. Some tellies and mets here, nothing too, too hard to deal with. Kumba is kinda low here. So we'll see what boss he faces. Meanwhile, Squidman's going to start the Airman themed stage. Looks like with the dark backgrounds and cloud enemies. So we have seen dark enemies. Oh, there's some hidden bats in the clouds too. So you just got to be careful about that. Okay, so we got an Airman boss. Seems like he's weak to the to the leaf shield. I'm pretty sure we've seen that weakness before, which is the same one as Mega Man 2's weakness. Now Kumba knows one weakness, or it could have been at least a secondary weakness, it did 4 damage. Squid using the Heat Man weapon charges to clear this, doesn't even need to charge them, looks like they're already pretty big. Kumba unlocks item 2, so the jet should be handy in some levels, like perhaps the Airman stage. So you might be able to fly through places instead of waiting for clouds. Choosing to go Buster only for this first section, no problem. You know, Squidman's in the last section before the boss. Some metals to deal with. Kumba not opting to use item 2, perhaps he wants to conserve it for something more important, or maybe he's got a different style in mind. And we got the Quick Man boss, Quick Man's fighting him, and it looks like the heat weapon is his weakness. That took 4 shots only. So. So that's two weaknesses that Squidman knows at least now, out of five robots. 
It'll be interesting if he remembers all of that once he gets to the refights. And he randomly selects the Crash Moon stage. Goomba is going to head over to the boss soon as well. Just a couple of units away. Squidman's going to use item 1 for the first time, I believe, here. Realizes that it doesn't carry an upward momentum as well, so that will be important to know. Uses the Metal Blade, realizes that it travels very slow. Kumba electing to just kill Quick Man with Buster only, which is how you would kill him in the normal game. We're going to see some item use for quick climb here on Squidman's screen. Good choice. These platforms take forever to go around their track. Okay, Kumba selects what looks like it's going to be the Heat Man themed stage. With some purple lava. Purple lava must be the worst. Squidman slowly getting to the last climbing portion of Crash. It's pretty low on items, so he's gonna have to climb it normally unless he decides to use item 3, and he does. Gonna get a couple of jumps here and be able to climb a little bit quicker. So both players are very, very sound mechanically. They have a lot of Mega Man experience, uh, so their inputs are pretty great. So most of what you're gonna see as far as mistakes or how fast they clear is the randomness that is thrown at them, but they're very quick thinkers. They're able to process quickly what would be the best strat. Kumba here doing the Heat Man Zip with item 3. So, so I don't know, I'm not a any percent player myself, but uh, my basic understanding is, is a perfect item placement will make me the game think that Mega Man is actually on the side of the wall where the item is and not in the wall. So if you try to move, the game doesn't understand correctly what's happening and actually zips you to the next place where there's normal wall. So you're able to travel good portions of levels. Sorry, I missed the boss there, unfortunately. I'll have to watch it on Squids, which he just took the same stage. The big fire weapon, though, that should be good against wood. You know, fire, wood, you know what I'm saying. Sniper Joe's for Kumba, no problem. Well, it's gonna be asked to find a way to deal with these block enemies. He's just gonna item one over them. He tries the zip in the wall, but unfortunately he falls, so he's gonna have to walk through this section unless he uses several items to climb back, which he has tried to, but it's not a, it wasn't a good attempt, so he's not going to waste no more time here, he's going to keep going. He's pretty dangerous on, on health here, so he might die, we'll see how he manages that. He's down to 1 HP. Well, 
while Kumba is traveling the blue crabs and the blue shrimps. Still on good HP. Normally see you see bunnies here, he's gonna face some sniper joes instead. And some bats. And a plunger guy. Copter guys, whatever. I'm gonna use item three. Both players are gonna use item three. Oh, Goomba falls though, but uh, Squidman successfully travels the Yoku Block section with item two, which saves quite a bit of time on that section instead of waiting for every block. Goomba is gonna face Crash right now. He's gonna like to fight him with his own weapon. Fortunately, that doesn't do a lot of damage. And he's immune to Metal Blade. I believe Squiddy took a death there. Looks like Bubble is good against Crash here on Kuba's screen. I'll we'll see for Squiddy and Bubble. Oh, we got a sped up Bubble Man. Ari takes 4 damage from the Buster, so. An easier fight than that made it seem. It could have been much harder. Kuba gets the Turbo Ball. Well, Squidman gets the big fire. And both players are electing to go back into the stage, the quick man stage. We'll see how they deal with the fast beams this time around. Last time they had difficulty. Players make the first few screens, no problem. Great by both players. So with how fast the beams are, you'll they'll actually have to use some uh, they use some deboost mechanics to get through the beams they would otherwise not be able to race on foot. Here they got some chains to deal with and rabbits. Nothing too difficult. Squid gets a life, which can be important. I mean, you could get some unfortunate deaths here in the... Looks like they got plenty of lives, though. Four and seven for Kumba. Alright, Kumba's doing fine. Fortunately Squidman dies, so he has to start again, but Kuma gets through us like a pro. So we're gonna see what boss he's faced with. Just one last enemy to get by, which gives him a good four damage. And while Squidman tries the lasers again, seems to be off to a good start. We got Flashman boss here. Unfortunately another death for Squid. So we got a flashman that seems to be jumping around, has a slow movement, pretty heavy, jumpy guy. Looks like Kumba found a pattern that's easy to kill him with. And Kumba gets the big kick. So the names of weapons are also randomized. So if we see a squid, oh no, unfortunately Squidman takes another death, so Kumba taking a commanding lead here going into Wily 1. So we'll have to see what Squidman comes up with here to try to get through this tough level. Looks like he's not moving anymore. Oh, he keeps going. Okay, so Wally 1 has the usual birds, but it also has other enemies he has to deal with here. Some block enemies. Elects to take the damage from the bird instead. Smart idea. Does much less damage than knocking into the block enemy. 
Got some Wily One and some Mega Man X music, why not? Let's see if Squidman can get through these lasers this time. He's on his last life, so this could be a game over if he doesn't. Oh no, he dies. It is a game over. And while Kumba still goes on, he's doing the climb just before the... some crabs here and with shells. I don't, I'm not sure what they're called, but uh, actually that hit Kumba quite a bit. Now, I'm not sure if Squidman has given up here. He's on the continue uh, screen. He may have decided to concede. Oh, he likes to go again. Now Kumba is going to freeze the last ladder towards Dragon. Some annoying frogs here, knocking him back. And he kills it. A little bit low. So we'll see what color the dragon is. We have a green and orange dragon. It's much no more normal than what I have seen yesterday. He's immune to Buster and the air weapon. Looks like Squidman's using a pause strat this time to get through it. A smart idea, he's able to travel a little bit more distance. Oh no, he dies in the next one. Okay, looks like the dragon's taking damage from the metal blade, so Kuma peels it down. So unless of a major fall on Kumba's side here, he should take this race. See if Squidman can figure out his dilemma here. Well, it's Wily 2 for Kumba. item 2. There is a possibility to do a zip there with some de-boost, but it didn't look like it was possible with the enemy type there. Let's see if Squidman can get past here. Oh no, this place is just tormenting Squidman. I, I can only feel for what could be going through his mind now. He's taken several deaths in this screen. But he is trying. Well, Kuma getting to the area where there's normally moles, instead there's P Piero bots. And some bats. I take item 3 to climb, no problem. Squidman is still stuck in the Quickman laser section, unfortunately. I'm hoping for him that uh, he gets by that and he's able to complete. Uh, you do you, you don't really wish that on players where they're stuck in one certain spot and they either forfeit or can't get past it. Squidman is not showing signs of giving up, so that's good. Okay, so here. Looks like the leaf shield is doing damage to this boss. There you go. It one shots them. Gotta be careful with damage though, they do hit for quite a bit. Gonna use 
use a meat tank for safety here. Looks like Squidman did game over it again. We'll see if he decides to continue. You might be looking at Koomba stream and saying, yeah, I'm just going to give him this one. While it is completed for Koomba. some refills here and some e-tanks and stuff. We'll see if he refills anything. He's thinking about it. I'm just gonna refill one thing and keep going. So we've got some pink water. And some frogs. On his way to the spike bone. Okay, so Squidman's timer's still going on live split. So it looks like in the SRL chat, Squidman has elected to drop out of the race. He was seeking for advice. He just said he couldn't get past them. Okay, so we'll see what damages the tank. It looks like it's bubbles. Kumba, a really good masher, is able to do that in three jumps. And on to what I would normally call purple hell. I have no idea what color or what kind of hell it's going to be this time. So it's green, red, and we got some yellow gorillas, so plenty of colors to have fun. And a happy music. Normally it's anything but happy. to climb quicker. I'll see what happens here with the uh, the three screens with the rides. When plunger enemies could jump in your face. That could get annoying. Looks like they're stuck in the wall though. The second one is like the break room. spikes. Now when you die here you gotta go all the way to the top. So I'm gonna have through all those rooms. That's gonna cost him some time. It looks like his personal best according to live split and the randomizer is 3825 so it will be very hard to beat that here. Okay, second try. 
elects to just do the normal jump with a pause buffer. We'll see if he tries to zip here. He's And take the windshield. It's like the sniper chose immune to the windshield. Looks like Squidman has decided to practice the ice zip. For anybody who knows, Squidman has been participating in the Mega Man 1 tournament being held, and he has qualified for the round of 16, so he's got to keep that game sharp. It's like the walls here in the crash, the booby fight, pardon me, is being broken by bubbles. And the air weapon kills the actual things. So. But should be able to finish this no problem now that he knows this. Just one more to go. Smartly conserving his ammo there. There you go. And he's going to be on his way to the refights. So the refights are interesting because the boss have all kinds of physics and stuff like that. And you don't necessarily know which rooms are in either, so... If you can remember as many weaknesses as possible, it'll help. Starting with Flashman. And we got the normal Y3 music. To just muster him down, good choice. He's gonna come out full of health and bubble. Buster was quite effective against bubble. There you go, four damage a piece. Quick work of that. He is going for Buster. Gotta watch his health though because Void can do quite a bit of damage. Only missing a couple. Of them. Okay, we got Metal Man. He knows the weakness to this one is air, and there you go, he switches to it. Meanwhile, Squidman successfully gets the Wily 4 zip, putting him in the Mega Man 1 lead. <laughs> There's Crash Man for Goomba. No problem there. Quick is the next victim. So most of these guys are being mustered down. Gonna have to walk all the way to the right to get the health, but he chooses to do so. Okay, I call Squid will have two dupes. He gets one. He gets two. A hey, commentator's curse, two dupes. Goomba has to use his last E tank, so that could be a problem heading into the Wily Machine fight. I'm trying to find Heat Man's weakness here, not having any luck. There you go, it seems to be the crash bomb. Yes. So you pretty much tried almost every weapon here. It's 
It's got good health coming to the wiling machine though, so it should help. There's two refills there, so you, in case you need some of these fights are immune to Buster, so you want to make sure that you have some energy for it. Looks like Buster is working for both, so this this is quick work for Goomba. It's going to go into the alien stage to finish us off. We'll see if he does the zip in the beginning. Squidman gets the bomb zip set up. And he enters the zip. You have to press right just before you get to the boss door. He gets no problem with that. I'm combating two different games here, right? That's alright. Alright, so see what the alien has, so I believe he only has one thing that can hurt him as well, just like it would be Bubble in the real game, so we'll see how quick Kumba can find out what hurts him. Buster goes right through him. It's not air. Oh, looks like it's wood and it does quite a bit of damage, but he's not energy. There we go. Kills him with eye abusing eye frames. It's Gigi Kumba with the time of a forty one twenty eight. Uh forty one twenty pardon me in SRL forty one eighteen on the live split. So we'll talk to the runners. I'm not sure if they're doing another one. Won't be long. Alright, looks like it'll be it for now. Make sure to give the Retro Games Racing channel a follow, which will be Races Uniquely, so it is a fairly new channel, but we'll be sure to give you some more exciting races. Also give Squidman a follow, as well as Kumba. They race a lot together, so it should be a lot of fun. We should see him back on here. So once again, I am Mannix, your commentator today, and thanks for watching.